I want to get right to Mike Lorber in Sky 5. This all began at Latrope High School, Latrope Elementary School. Mike, what's going on? We have now have a high-speed pursuit, Marion, that has gotten onto the Eisenhower Expressway in the last 30 seconds or so. Our last report, there was a report of a lockdown due to a shooting near Lathrobe Elementary School. We heard a dispatch about a minute later of a vehicle that initially was near Roosevelt and Pulaski went north of the Eisenhower Expressway, drove erratically, went through some gas stations, and has been driving erratically ever since with this Jeep. One person ran out of that vehicle at one point. I believe that was over by Costner. Now the vehicle is out on the Eisenhower Expressway, right around, it looks like the central exit. Of course, the Eisenhower is very busy this time of day, driving up on the side embankment now in the grass, heading towards, as it gets back on the ramp, the Central Avenue perhaps exit or is gonna stay on the expressway, switching all the way over to the left shoulder. So this is a very erratic driver. Again, there was a dispatch of a shooting near Fillmore and Sacramento. The school, Lathrop Elementary, was on lockdown. That admitted a search for this Jeep. The Jeep, they've been after it now for about the last five minutes or so. We have seen about 12 to 15 Chicago police officers at high rates of speed trying to get this suspect. All right, so we've got the suspect now that has exited the Eisenhower Expressway. Let me get my bearings here. I think we're going south on Austin here, south of the Eisenhower Expressway. Looks like south on Austin, south of the Eisenhower Expressway. You see the Jeep in the forefront. You see the officer now trying to get into northbound traffic to get in front of this Jeep here. South on Austin eventually will make its way down to Roosevelt Road. Now, when something like this happens, and we're getting into the suburbs now, Austin, of course, being on the barrier of the western suburbs, the Chicago Police Department will call in an Isburn alert, and that brings everybody in to try to help out. Looks like we're on Roosevelt here. We're now going west on Roosevelt Road. So again, just to reset everything, we covered about 15 minutes ago a shooting that, uh, all right, now they just heard a dispatch uh, now of a termination of the pursuit. They are notifying Oak Park. This vehicle has gone right on Roosevelt and it is in an alley. I'm trying to pinpoint exactly where we are right now. Now going through alleys in the Oak Park Berwyn area. We're about a block or two north of Roosevelt Road, heading west towards Ridgeland in the Berwyn area. Two crime scenes here, so I'm listening in. Uh, forgive me here, it's a uh, delay from time to time. The vehicle is wanted, according to the dispatch, two crime scenes for a shooting at 3415 West on Ogden Avenue. 3415 West on Ogden Avenue, vehicle heads northbound, now vehicle heading westbound. We're a couple blocks north of Roosevelt Road, so we're in the Berwyn area here. And it looks like we're about Ridgeland Avenue, and now this um, vehicle is in the alley, out. and now we've got a person jumping out and running down the alley. So Max, let's make sure, let's stay on that person. Looks like the car has stopped jumping over a fence, and now we're in West Suburban Berwyn here, where a person has just jumped out of a car. Jumping and it looks over like somebody is in there. pursuit. Looks like they've got right over the fence. The police are here. We're not sure if this is Oak Park or Berwyn. We'll pinpoint your location as the Still suspect moving. continues. Hopping another fence. Still there. moving here in the alley. And again, I want to warn anybody here if you've got any kids watching, we're not sure how this is going to turn out. You may want to turn them away from the TV. So the police on foot chasing a suspect, a shooting suspect. We are in Berwyn oh, here, oh. and that suspect almost hit by a car. That's, That's another officer car. in between the homes here. What so area are we in right now? We are about Ridgeland. Right now, we're uh, westbound in the Berwyn area. I would say we're a couple blocks north Looks of like Roosevelt Road. Officers. Yeah, and we've lost the officer in a very narrow but way in the back like of somebody's home stuck. now. Might be stuck in an area where he had to climb a fence here. So uh, we'll get our bearings. We're about, uh, I'd say about 6,600 west and uh, or about 1,000 south. Don't see any movement So now, now. we're in the suburbs though. Yeah, he might be hiding a...
taking a break after uh, sprinting yeah, so for a there's couple a home. there. Up. Oh. Now is they he coming here's a home and somebody else Paul has Deano walked out, but I don't think that's the same person. Tackled. So maybe Our by a, back there now. Yep. Did it look like, like a police officer? All right, so we've Paul? got yeah, we've still got it the did? shooting suspect there. Max is zooming in there between the two garages here. So Paul we're in a said garage. It looked like he was tackled by a police officer. There okay, he is. Right, now there we've is. gotten arrested. Yeah, you're made. right. Taken into custody.